Hey guys, welcome to my process speech. Today, I'll be teaching you how to drive a forklift. Forklift is a very handy tool to have. It's, it allows you to transport uh, big items like lumber, like pack, large packages and such. It's uh, during the quarantine, uh, fortunately for us, I didn't have to uh, lose my job. We were actually uh, considered an essential service by the government of BC and we were open. Even at times, we actually uh, doubled our sales and uh, had more customers that walked through the door. So should we, uh, shall we start? So when you first start to, to ride the machine, uh, the very first thing you gotta have is your high-vis uh, vest on. It's, it allows other people, other pedestrians and the oncoming traffic to see you and, and making sure everybody is safe. And uh, number two, step number two, is we wanna, there's an operator checklist that we have to, uh, that we have to abide by. So what it, does, what it tells us is uh, it, it asks us to check for leaks, to make sure tires are in good condition, there's no gouges or anything wrong with the tires, and making sure the forks, and I'll just walk you through, to making sure the forks are in good condition and they're, they're safe, there's no hairline cracks or anything. And we gotta make sure the, the pulley here is safe and functional and there's no damages or anything noticeable on it. And uh, we'll come across, come around here and making sure there's nothing stuck in any between the plates or anything around that line. And uh, last but not least is we gotta check the propane. And uh, we gotta make sure the the handle is fully secured and then making sure the uh, the uh, uh, nothing is leaking out of it okay so uh, that's about it for the inspection that usually takes about three to five minutes and it's very very helpful uh, and very important that is done daily okay and and next we'll come around and then I'll uh, I'll show you guys a little bit about uh, what's the console of the, the forklift. So first, I'll show you the the weight. So the weight of the so the the, the scale. There's a scale here that weights everything that comes uh, that we lift up. And then secondly, we check the um, there's three uh, levers that uh, that are here. The first one is your up and down. It goes up, so it takes the forks up and it takes it down. This actually uh, uh, tilts it, so it tilts it backwards and front, and this actually slides the fork. So if you have a load and you want to move it to the side, it moves it for you. Okay, and uh, this is actually the wheel. Yeah, as you guys can tell, the uh, the, the wheel handle, and uh, this is the gear. I think it's hard to to see it from from that position, but this is the gear where if you go if you push it forward, it goes forward and in the middle it stays neutral and then the back it goes reversed so we're just gonna turn it on and put the passcode in and we're just gonna turn it on so first thing it's a it's in a park mode so we got to release the brakes so once we release it we got to make sure our seat belt is on when the seat belt is on we're ready to go so I'm just gonna, uh, there's a lifter that I'm actually gonna pick up and show you guys a little bit of uh, how, to, how it works. So we're gonna back up. And again, my hand is, one hand is always on the, the levers and one hand is always on the wheel just so I have full control of the machine. So I'm going to align the fork with the, with the object I'm going into and then I'm going to center it making sure it's safe to, to go inside and then I'm going to go in and I make sure I have it both completed and it's right in the middle and then I go ahead and lift it up and then when I'm safe to do so I can then
and then I just make sure when I'm when I'm maneuvering that I can just have it as a at a low level where it's safe and I I don't cause any harm to other people. And when I'm ready to apply it down, I just apply it. I apply the brakes on the machine. That way it doesn't move on me with the with the load already being applied. And then I'm ready to get off. I turn off the machine and then take off the seat belt. And then another thing that I missed, uh, missed to tell you guys is three points of contact. So when you're coming off of the machine, you have to have three different uh, body parts on the, the machine. So for example, uh, two hands and feet or, uh, or yeah, so the variation of it. So I'm gonna come up and uh, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something from it. And uh, in case you have any questions, just make sure you uh, e email me or leave a message on the, uh, in, the, in the comments below. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye.